is we're going to talk about basic skincare. I am a skincare kind of girl. I've always used skincare and I guess if there's ever one thing that came out of having pimply skin as a teenager is that I learned to look after my skin really early. So I've always um, had a skincare regime of sorts. Now, I guess the most important thing or the biggest question is do you need expensive skincare or do you need cheap skincare? I've got to admit, I, at the moment, am pretty much using everything that's a little bit on the cheap side. Looking at the products that I've grabbed that I use on my face, nothing comes from a department store and that probably comes from the fact that I get really intimidated in department stores. Um, the women behind the counters scare the hell out of me, even though I was one of those women behind the counter for about five years. They terrify me and terrify me the fact that when you rock up there, they will tell you everything that's wrong with your skin, what you should be using, what you shouldn't be using. And I get really flustered. It's kind of like when I go to Subway and I get anxious and I don't know what to order. So for me, I just love going to um, a shop where I can look at it, I can read the labels and I can work it out themselves. I guess lucky for me because I've worked in the industry before, um, on and off, I guess I've worked in the cosmetic industry before I went back to teaching. I was in that industry for about 15 years and it's an industry that it really interests me. So I still keep on top of things. I know what I'm looking for. So if you don't know what you're looking for, it can actually be quite confusing. So hopefully today I'm going to take some of the confusion out of it for you to give you a little bit more confidence that when you go into um, a store, you know what to look for. So let's get started. First thing that is important is in any skincare regime is you need to clean your face, obviously. Cleaning is important. So there are lots of different cleansers that you can use. You can use rinse off cleansers, um, cream cleansers that you tissue off, you can use wipes. For me, I've got a combination of the two at the moment. Um, I use wipes, which mostly to just remove my makeup. Um, it's actually an interesting concept that removing makeup and cleansing your face is two separate steps. By, if you just cleanse once, you do take the makeup off, but you don't actually clean your skin, so it's worthwhile doing too. But I always use some sort of wipes. These are new ones that I'm using at the moment. These are just rose hip facial wipes. I got these from um, Woolworths when I was doing shopping. Just chuck them in. Actually, I was in love with my mum. I made my mum buy a packet as well. So mum's using these too. They're infused with a product. They will cleanse. I like these ones because they're not too dry, but they're really good for, um, like, taking eye makeup off and also if you make some little mistakes when you're putting your makeup off. So at night time, I will use one of these wipes to take all my makeup off and my eye makeup off as well. Um, I also use just these if I'm going somewhere like to Bali where I don't want to accidentally get the water in my face. I'll just use these just as a cleanser. So wipes are a really good idea. Most brands do one of these these days. These just happen to be the ones that I'm using at the moment. Um, and then my everyday cleanser that I use morning and night in the shower is Cetaphil. Cetaphil is a gentle skin cleanser. You can get these from any pharmacy and most supermarkets in Australia will stock it. It's got no fragrance in it. It doesn't find it's gentle. It cleans. It's perfect. I really, really like this cleanser. I've used this on and off now for probably, actually not even on and off. This is all I've used for the last two years. And it's cheap, it's affordable. So just a squirt um, in your hand, rub it together and then just wash it all over your face. If you've got a scrubbing brush, just put it on your hand and then scrub it, use the scrub and scrub that through and rinse that off. So this is awesome. I know they do wipes as well and I think they do some for an oily skin too. This one's just for all skin types, so my skin's not oily. So this is really good. Um, I just kept it in the shower. Really good product. Um, the other thing that I would recommend that you have in your little basic collection is an exfoliating scrub of some sort. This is the Australia Pure one. I didn't buy this. I got this as a sample in a Bella box, which is like a subscription box that you pay for and you get a box full of products every month, but you always get a full product. I got this full product a couple of months ago. I've used this probably twice a week. Scrubbing or exfoliating is important because your skin renews itself every 28 days. The skin cells stay on the surface of your skin, so you need to physically remove them. Um, there are two types of exfoliator, a chemical one, 
and also this one which is like a uh, um it's got the texture rough texture physical can be physical it's a physical one so you just scrub it on i use this in the shower my face is wet put it in my hand rub it together and then just massage it through um really good for helping to unblock pores as well and it just makes the skin feel nice and smooth when do you use a scrub? It depends who you ask. I've worked for two different companies that have both said two different things. One says you use it after you cleanse. One says you use it before. I always use it before because I figure if I'm going to clean my skin, I'm going to take all the dead skin cells off, which means that the cleanse is going to work better. I just realized that when I was talking through cleansers, I also forgot about makeup removers that you can use. I'm using two at the moment. This one is from Mecca, Cosmetica. So it's a little bit more pricey but it is a makeup remover that will remove all traces of makeup. Put this on either a cotton bud bolly thing or a Q-tip, which is just, this is really good for spot makeup removing as well. And the other thing that's good for removing eye makeup or makeup in general is, I'm gonna say it wrong, but I said it right before, micellular water, which is kind of like the new whiz bang cleanser thing. Um, it's clear. Garnier do some really good ones for all different skin types. This one is Bioderma. It's another little sample one that I've got as well. But same thing, put it on a cotton ball and just take all your makeup off. These are really light and really gentle. They're good if you don't like a cream because sometimes, especially when you're taking your eye makeup off, the cream can sort of get in your eye and feel a bit like gross. So this is things like this are really good. You need to moisturize. Now, you can either go straight to moisturizing or you can put the step of the serum in the middle. The easiest way to describe serum is just like a serum of really good stuff for your face. It's kind of like a vitamin tablet for your face. They're, they've got anti-aging properties. They help to resurface the skin. They just help to pack a whole lot of stuff in to your face. The one that I'm using at the moment is the Olay, Olay, Olay Miracle Boost um, Youth Essence, Pre-Essence, Youth Pre-Essence. It's nice. It's light. Um, it doesn't have a kind of can you see it's in a dropper this one is and you can see the consistency of that it's very um it's not greasy at all and you just pop it on your face and it gets absorbed almost straight away there's no texture left to that but I don't know if you can see probably not the difference between my hands but it does actually make it feel really really soft most brands these days do have a serum of some sort I was using a L'Oreal one before this one, but this one's really good. Now, they are also kind of like, I'm not gonna use the right word, but in the place of you can use treatment essences, um, there's one by a brand called SK2, which is ridiculously expensive, just looks like water, but oh my gosh, it is amazing. So if you um, ever wanna buy yourself a little bit of a treat, the SK2 treatment essence, oh my gosh, crazy crazy good um so this is your serum so after your serum next you're going to go for a moisturizer oh my gosh there are so many moisturizers you can get moisturizers that just put moisture back into the skin you can get moisturizers that are going to anti-age you that are going to do all sorts of stuff you can get day creams you can get night creams you can get just general moisturizers it's up to you Difference is day creams tend to be lighter, sometimes they have an SPF. Night creams tend to be heavier, a little bit thicker, a little bit richer because the skin does absorb more nutrients in the night time. The one that I'm using at the moment is just Revitalift Laser 3. Now, I've gone back to using this because I was actually given it as a sample, but I used it when it first came out, which I trialed the product as well along with its serum and I'd actually forgotten how good this is. This is a really good product. As far as one from a drugstore, and I hate using that phrase drugstore because I live in Australia, we don't have drugstores, but you kind of know what I mean. Um, it is on the pricier end. So I think for this, you're kind of looking at about $40, but it's a really beautiful, nice cream. And brands like L'Oreal, um, Olay, even Neutrogena, all those ones that, that they do have a cream like this that they are a little bit more expensive, but this one's really nice. Probably my only complaint about it is that it gets stuck in my nails, but it, it's thick. Um, I do use this during the day. I don't find it's too heavy during the day, and I use it at night time. It does have a bit of a smell, but it's not too strong. But that, So this one's really good. Um, I actually used the serum of this one, but I ran out of it. So Revital Lift is really good, but 
any moisturizer that you like. You just need to, to moisture your skin. Even if your skin is a little bit on the oilier side, you still need to moisturize because there's a difference between oil and moisture. So you can still have oily skin and it can still be dehydrated. If that is the case, you need to go and find something that's a little bit lighter. They tend to be more gels than creams. The next thing that I'm going to show you, which I use in my skincare regime, is an oil. I have been using rosehip oil on my face on and off for about the last six months. Um, I got a sample of a facial treatment oil and because I would never go and buy it for that reason that I thought I'm not going to put an oil on my face that's just like stupid but it's not stupid I don't know how they do it but they're oils but they're not oily they don't make your skin oily they pack lots of good things into your face they make it a bit smoother the text is really nice and they're great so this one that I'm using is rosehip because I'm going through a bit of a rosehip stage at the moment I made my mum buy this too so I have to ask her to see how she's liking it but um I used this morning and night time recently I went away and I didn't take a moisturizer with me at all this is all I took to use as my moisturizer so this is really good and cheap as well I think this this bottle was about $17 um eye cream Everyone needs an eye cream, especially when you're getting older, because the skin around your eyes is really fine. It's 50% thinner than the skin anywhere else on your face, which is the reason that it wrinkles so much faster. I'm actually looking at my wrinkles in the side mirror. So eye cream, like same thing. Use whatever brand you like, whatever makes you happy. Find one that you like. Swap around. I swap around. I've actually I'm probably using three different ones at the moment. But this one's Dr. Lewin's. This one's quite good, actually. This is their Eternal Youth range. And I really like this one because it comes with this weird little um, thing that applicator. It's really cold. So if you have puffy eyes, a good sunblock. Sunblock. In Australia especially, or even anywhere that you live, but especially in Australia, you need to wear sunblock. Um, the majority of skin damage that is done is incidental. So it's not actually when you're going out and sitting in the sun. It's when you're walking around. It's when you're driving in the car. A 30 plus is essential. No point getting anything less than that. If you can get higher than that, that's even better. But just remember, even though it's a higher SPF, it doesn't mean it lasts for longer. So I must admit I'm a bit lazy, I only apply it once, which I kind of think is enough. But if you're spending a day out in the sun, you've got to keep constantly reapplying. And remember, it takes about 20 minutes for a sunblock to work. So put it on 20 minutes before. Sunblock is the best anti-aging product that you can have in your kit. I use an invisible zinc one because I like invisible zinc. I know some people don't. Some people find it a little bit too heavy. Neutrogena do a good one. Try and get one that is base for the face though because ones that are either face and body or um, just for the face, the text is a little bit different. It's a bit lighter. So sunblock is the way to go. So that is it. That is what I think you need to do or to have in your basic skincare. So you can use a toner if you want to. That just fits into the step after you cleanse before you put your serum on. So that one that fits in. So I hope I've helped you out a little bit. Um, of knowing what are the basics that you need to have in your kit to get your skin looking okay. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you may like to subscribe. If you want to leave me a comment, leave me a comment and have a good day.